Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how to use API of OpenAI to access GPT-3 on your Mac. An idea here is pretty simple. Let's say I have here my favorite text editor, which is AI Writer. I can ask here anything and then trigger a macro, which will contact GPT-3 and paste a response. What's more, I can repeat this many times. The question is how it's even possible. And the answer is keyboard maestro and shortcuts. Let's get to the first one. Here we can create a new macro with command N and give it a name. The first step will be to create a variable which will be our prompt and its value will be set to system clipboard. A second step will be to execute a shortcut which will be responsible for making a request to OpenAI API. Here we need to pass our prompt and also we will get a response which will be saved into variable called response. Now we can go to the shortcuts and create a new shortcut here. We will give it a name which will be GPT-3 and this is because we need to make sure that this name will be the same as this one. Next we need to search for an action called get contents of URL and then create our request which will be post request with proper headers and JSON body. In headers we have content type which is a application slash JSON and authorization header, which will be bearer. And here you need to pass your API key from OpenAI. Now we are able to define our request body. Here we need to pass a model, which will be set to text DaVinci free. A second property will be our prompt, which value needs to be set to shortcut input. I don't know if you know, but shortcut input in this case will be a variable called prompt, which value points to system clipboard. The last two properties will be temperature set to 0.7 and max tokens set to 650. And the last step will be to update our URL to point to OpenAI API endpoint. Oh, and here we have to change a type from text to number and also here. I will update those values and our shortcut is ready so we can go back to Keyboard Maestro. Right now we are able to display text in a window and we want to display a variable called response. Now we can try our macro and we have our response. We can format this object and see that everything we need is a text property of an object from Choices Array. What we need to do here is to access this property and the best way to do so will be to use JavaScript for automation. Basically that's a simple snippet where we are reading a response variable and then use JSON parse method to access a first element of choices array and then our text property. So basically that's the same what we have here. We have a choices array and we want to access a property from this object and this property will be text. And the last step here will be to set a variable called response to the variable called result. The only thing we need to do here is to type a keystroke command right arrow to make sure that we have no selected text. Let's go back to IA Writer for a moment. When I want to use this macro, I want to select a text and then press command C to copy this value. Next, I want to trigger this macro and after getting a response, I'd like to press command right arrow to remove a selection and then press enter two times and paste a result. So now we can go back to Keyboard Maestro and add the last action, which will be insert text by typing. And here what we need to pass is a content of response variable. Now we can assign this shortcut to let's say command R and then go back to a writer. Here I can press command A to select this text, next command C to copy it and then command R to run our macro. After a few seconds I've got my results. What's more I can select this text once again and again run this macro. And we've got our result. The most important part here is that we can use this macro everywhere in our system. So let's say in Sublime Text 3, I will make our prompt like so. As you can see, I have my result. 
Please keep that in mind, this is uh, just an example, so in this case it will be much better to use another tool to make a such transformations. Anyway, I think you've got an idea. And basically that's it. Thank you for watching, have fun and see you in the next videos.